Hi everyone, welcome to Catherine's Plates. I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for coming to my show today. Yes, I have my crock pot out and I have lots of ears of corn here and you're probably wondering what am I going to be doing with this? I'm going to be making the most delicious, simple, easy corn on the cob recipe for y'all using my crock pot. Why? Y'all, it is so hot in southeast Texas and we don't. <laughs> We don't want to be using our stove, boiling water for a long period of time to cook corn. So, three hours on high in the crock pot and you've got the most delicious corn using some delicious flavors here, all right, that you probably have. And it's simple. You're just going to want some milk, butter, honey, salt, and pepper to make our honey milk corn on the cob. And if you're ready, I'm ready to do this in the crock pot. We're not going to be heating up the stove, boiling water, not on the menu today. So if you're ready, grab your crock pot, grab your corn, grab your goodness here, and let's put this together. First thing we're going to start with our eight ears of corn. Now you can use how many ever you want to as long as it fits into your crock pot. Now I've got the full ears of corn here as you can see. Now you can certainly cut these in half if you'd like and just use them as niblets. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead now and put these into our crock pot. There we go, we got all eight to fit in there. That's a perfect amount. I'm gonna be adding one cup of milk. Now, if you wanna use coconut milk, any kind of milk, I'm just gonna be using, this is a 2% milk. Just pour it all over the corn, just like that. All right, the next thing we're gonna put in there is some honey. Now, I'm estimating about two tablespoons of honey, but this is your corn on the cob, all right? So I'm gonna kind of pour it in there on each corn. And kind of down in there. Yep. All right, there we go. I think that's plenty for us. <laughs> That'll help turn that milk so delicious too, y'all. And there's so many different ways that you can use that milk at the end. And I'm gonna show you that also. All right, the next thing, now I've got some butter here. You can use salted or unsalted butter. This is just a salted butter, which is, which is fine. So I'm gonna take cubes of the butter here, or pats of the butter, and just kind of place it on top of the corn, just like that. And what's going to happen is when that starts melting, it'll melt in with the honey and then just dribble everywhere. So wherever you want the butter. And put plenty of it in there. It's sticking to the corn because of the honey, so that's good. It'll give it time to melt all in there. All right. I have some cracked black pepper. and some salt. So I'm just gonna crack on here. All right, okay, so that is it, y'all. We are ready to put a lid on it. All right, y'all, I've got my timer set for three hours. It's on high. You can do this on low if you would like also for about five hours. Just check the tenderness of the corn and where you want it to be at. All right, y'all, I'll be back in three hours. All right, y'all, the corn on the cob is ready. They've been in there for three hours on high. I'm going to go ahead now and take the lid off. They've been smelling good for the last three hours. Mmm. All right, I'm going to go ahead now and plate these up. There we go. All right, so I've got all my corn pulled out. Now, y'all think this is gonna go to waste? No. All that beautiful liquid in there, that's gold for you. Corn potato chowder gold is what I'm talking about. That's what I'm gonna use this for, y'all, so it's not gonna go to waste. And any corn on the cobs that we don't eat, I'm gonna pull the corn off of there, and I'm gonna add that to my corn potato chowder also. So it might be a video, so stay tuned for that. All right, y'all. I'm ready to dive in and 
take a bite of one of these corn on the cobs for you. Don't those look delicious? I bet they're going to be flavorful and so yummy. There we go. Mm. You heard that crunch. So we didn't lose all that crunch and have really soft corn, right? We still have that nice little crunch to it, but it's so delicious. Remember that honey, butter, and milk that went into this corn, and then we salt and peppered it. Oh, so delicious. That's what three hours can do for your corn, y'all. Don't heat up your house with a boiling water to put corn in. Put it in your crock pot and let it do all the work for you. All right, y'all. There we go. All right, y'all, thank you so much for coming to my show today. Make sure you comment down below and give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification so you'll always know when shows are posted like this one here. Okay, everyone, I will see you on my next episode.